Are there polls why Germans dislike Trump so much and consider him so dangerous? From Pew surveys, Trump seems quite unpopular in continental Europe. In 2019 he seems to poll lowest in Germany even among that group. Enter image description here. Also, a more recent DPA poll focused on Germans' opinions. Germans were asked who was more dangerous, North Korea's leader Kim Jong-un, Chinese President Xi Jinping, Iran's Supreme Leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei, Russian President Vladimir Putin or U.S. President Donald Trump. Some 41% of Germans said they thought Trump was the most dangerous out of the five world leaders. In second place was Kim with 17%, followed by Putin and Khamenei with 8%. Coming in last was China's Xi with 7%. A similar YouGov poll was carried out in July last year, in which 48% of Germans surveyed said Trump was more dangerous than Kim and Putin. That poll, however, did not include the leaders of Iran or China. Clearly Trump has threatened Germans with slapping tariffs on their cars when imported to the US and Trump has supported Brexit, but that seems a bit of a simplistic explanation. Are there some polls asking why Germans dislike Trump so much and or consider him so dangerous? Regarding close votes, I'm not asking for Shea users' opinions. Asking for poll data is quite accepted here. Europe in general, and Germany in particular, are, for all the obvious historical reasons, sensitized to right-wing nationalist movements. Many of Trump's more pointed comments on Twitter or at campaign rallies might actually have been against German law had they been delivered in Germany. This is called Volksverretzung and is a crime under Section 130 Criminal Code. Incitement to hatred is the official translation. It's a compound word of Volk people and Hetzen roughly, to agitate. Trump's typically brazen, xenophobic, propaganda-oriented, aggressive style, as well as his frequent bouts of military tough talk and saber-rattling, dredge up frightening and unpleasant imagery from the last century. Whether or not those fears are realistic or rational could be debated, but they are certainly justified by past trauma and current conditions. It would be nice to think that Europeans object to Trumpist policies, e.g., his lionization of authoritarians at the expense of traditional allies, or his mercurial economic policies and trade war-centered foreign policy. But in reality I think this effect arises from a deep-seated fear of the kind of violent political rhetoric that makes up the bulk of Trump's public persona.